This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and tomorrow is Valentine's Day. It's a celebration of love and romance that crosses both cultures and borders. So I wanted to do something on this channel to mark the occasion. I considered love locks, but picking them is really in opposition to the spirit of the day. But there is a lock out there, cruel in conception and use, that is completely antithetical to that which we celebrate on Valentine's Day. It is, of course, the chastity cage. So I'm going to show you how to open one up. Now I realize that not all of the poor souls imprisoned by these devices will have access to lockpicking tools, so we're going to need to get creative. Then I figured that someone escaping from such an apparatus would be well served to have some of these on hand. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to try to pick this open using nothing but a condom wrapper. The first thing we'll need to do to prepare this is cut the edge off of the wrapper, being very careful, of course, not to damage the condom within. Once we have that cut off, we need to fold it lengthwise to give it a little bit of added rigidity. Okay, just that quickly, our lock pick is complete. Now normally we would need two tools to pick a lock, one pick and one tension device. However, if we look carefully at this, we can see that the tailpiece to the lock is exposed. When I turn the key, you can see that tailpiece moving. So all we need to do to tension this lock is press on that tailpiece with our finger. So let's get to picking. The first thing we'll need to do is insert this pick into the keyway, then put a little bit of tension on that tailpiece, and then rock our pick up and down. And just that quickly, we got it open. So that's all I have for you today. Hopefully some poor imprisoned soul out there will find this information useful. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a great Valentine's Day.